Hello, grade 10 of Alegria National High School. Ang ituturo ko ngayon sa inyo ay kung papaano natin kukunin yung distance of epicenter from the station. So that is based in your uh, quarter 1, activity 1, and activity number 2. So ituturo ko sa inyo ngayon kung papaano ninyo masusob yung distance of epicenter from the station. So watch this guys at ituturo ko sa inyo kung papaano natin gamitin yung distance formula which is d is equal to time difference divided by 8 times 100 kilometer. Watch this. My dear students of Alegria National High School, especially grade 10 students, so ang ipapakita ko sa inyo ngayon ay kung papaano natin i-compute yung distance of epicenter from the station using the formula D is equal to time difference divided by 8 seconds times 100. So this is in terms of kilometer. The unit for the distance is in kilometer. So remember that D is the distance. Uh, the unit is kilometer and T, D is equal to the time difference, difference of P wave, P represent for the primary wave, and S wave, which is the secondary wave. So this is in second. So the unit for the Time difference is seconds. Okay, I will give you an example on how to uh, use that uh, formula. So, for example, I'm going to make a table here, a three-column table. So, the first column represents for the recording station. So, dito nakasulat yung lugar recording station then we the second column will be the time difference of p and s wave so this is in a uh, second the unit is seconds then the last column will be the distance of epicenter from the station from the station okay this is in kilometer the unit for this one is kilometer then for example I'm going to write here Alegria then the time difference of the primary and secondary wave is 44.8 seconds then the next one is Baliti. So the time is 32 seconds. So in your activity, the unknown there is the distance of the epicenter from the station. So this will be question mark. So ito yung uh, gusto kong uh, sagutan ninyo. Okay. So, what we're going to do is, uh, we will now use the distance formula, which is D is equal to time difference over 8 seconds times 100. So, in our table here, 44.8 seconds is equivalent, this will be e this will be our value for the time difference. So this will be the time difference. So applying in our formula, which is D is equal to time difference over 8 seconds times 100 kilometer. Okay, so we're going to look for the value of the distance for Alegria. So, iisa-isay natin yung bawat lugar. So, Alegria is 
uh, 44.8 okay so since 44.8 is the value of the time difference so we are going to substitute the value of the time difference there we have 44.8 seconds divided by 8 seconds times 100 in kilometer okay so what you are going to do is you are going to divide first this one so 44.8 divided by 8 so that is 44.8 divided by 8 is equal to 5.6 so this will be equal to 5.6 you are going to multiply this one into 100 so the value now will be so 5.6 times 100 is equal to 560 so that is 560 kilometer and that this will be the distance of the epicenter from Alegria so that is 560 kilometer okay next so ang isosolve na naman natin ngayon is the distance of an epicenter in Balite. So, sa Balite, we have 32 seconds. So, applying same formula, we have D is equal to time difference divided by 8 seconds times 100. Okay, before we forget, uh, we will, a second here can be cancelled out. So, that is why the remaining unit will be kilometer. Okay, so going back to the solution for Balite. So we are solving now for Balite. So the value for the time difference is 32. So we're going to substitute 32 divided by 8. This is seconds. This is seconds times 100 kilometer. Okay. So, 32, that is uh, 32 divided by 8 is equal to 4. So, we're going to write here 4. Then, you multiply this 4 to 100 and this will become 400 kilometers. So, this will be the distance of the epicenter from Balite okay that's it so we're we are now going to write down the answer here which is uh, 560 kilometer and this is 400 kilometer okay so your solution must be uh, shown there in your activity sheet so that I can check if you follow the process in solving the distance of the epicenter from the station. Thank you so much.